Hey friends, on this Instapot recipe series, we're gonna do how to make the easiest cauliflower rice. Coming up next. Hey friends, it's Elizabeth Countess of Low Carb. I am so excited for this Instapot recipes series to show you how to cook cauliflower rice in under 10 minutes. Yes, you can rave from your seats. Make sure you smash that like button. Click subscribe if you want to see all things keto, all things low fat. And also sign up for my free weekly Wednesday weight loss keto meal plan email delivered directly to your inbox. Let's dive into this recipe. It's super simple. A special thank you to Kasari for sponsoring this video. You can get a Kasari Instapot down in the description link below. For my cauliflower rice that I'm gonna be using, this was from my Aldi Keto haul. If you wanna see my Aldi grocery shopping list, those are down on the playlist below. I'm simply using a bag and a half of the Aldi cauliflower rice. Um, you can use whichever cauliflower rice you want, organic cauliflower rice, whatever you've got. I'm using a bag and a half, which equates to 18 ounces of cauliflower rice. Just dumping it in my Kasari Instapot here with a bag and a half. We will use the other one later. I just don't want to have too much for my family since it's so easy to make. I just make it again. Um, I also put in here a cup and a half of water. I normally would love to use broth or my um, fond bone broth would be a great choice, but today I'm all out of all of those. So I'm just gonna dump a cup and a half of water into my Kasari Instapot. And if you want this recipe via blog style, if you're a visual learner, I will also have that in the description link below. My gift to you, different types of learners like to cook different ways. I'm going to add also into here one tablespoon of garlic powder. I like to mask. Everyone else out there like me, like the smell of cauliflower rice does kind of freak, like I, it smells like dirty, stinky feet. So the garlic in it makes it smell like, make my house smell beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a tablespoon of garlic powder. And here's my garlic powder. And just simply put that in there. So I'm simply just gonna lock the lid, lock and loader. I'm gonna go ahead and put on cook time um, manual. I'm gonna go ahead and put on cook time so one minute. Yes, it will only be one minute. I'm gonna change my pressure temperature to high. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is locked. I've already cleaned this out. I double checked that my ring was my ring inside was secure. Cook time check is one minute. High pressure check, starting on. It's gonna go ahead and do its thing. It'll probably do this for about seven minutes. Cook for one minute, and then I will have my amazing, awesome uh, cauliflower rice that's gonna be easily cooked. I just did manual release to get out all of the steam. You simply just do a manual pressure release, open her up, and ta-da, look at that beautiful steam. So sometimes I have leftover water in there, no problem. Simply just mix it around and then just drain it out in a colander. And I simply take a bunch of excess paper towels and I smush out any excess water just to make sure that it's rice-like. And that usually pushes out a whole bunch and it makes it a little bit drier. So I'm simply just gonna go ahead and put some butter on top of my amazing cauliflower rice. You can mix that around so it melts and gets all ooey gooey and then just serve it up. And that, my friends, is how you make easy cauliflower rice. You then have beautiful cauliflower rice, which I use for lots of my recipes as base for things. Sometimes I'll just eat it straight, but usually I'll add it to other things to make a Mexican dish or an Asian dish or um, comfort food type things using this as a base. It's so simple. If I can do it as a Sesame Street chef, la, 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 you can too. So put in the comments below if you like it. What is your favorite cauliflower recipe? That is our question of the day. Inquiring minds want to know. Also make sure you click like on this video, click subscribe and sign up for my free weekly keto meal plan. My gift to you being part of the Countess of Low Carb community. And I can't wait to show you other recipes building off this foundational video. It's a start to a whole cauliflower relationship to come. Um, make it a prop for day. Bye guys. Really, it's so good. I can't stop eating this. That was a good prop demo dish. I want to lick it clean. Enjoy.